This week we're going to discuss the time value of money and this is arguably the most important concept in finance. And so the big picture of the time value of money is that these are the principles and the calculations that we use to revalue cash flows from different times, meaning from the future to the present, so that we can make reasonable comparisons. So let's start with just a graphic representation of cash flows. And so cash flow timelines are not something that you're required to do, but it helps to start getting an idea of what's going on because in finance, we're very, very concerned about cash flows. And so not only do you know how much cash is changing hands in a given time period, but you need to know those specific time periods. And so if it's more than one cash flow, we need to be able, the, the, the timeline lets us kind of plot that out. So two key terms here are the present value and the future value. The present value is what something is worth to us today. So it's the beginning amount, you can think of it that way. The future value is what something is worth to us at some specific point in the future. So let's talk about um, cash flow patterns. This is a very important starting point. First, we could have a lump sum amount. So that's a single payment that we either, either receive or we make to someone else that's either going to occur today or at some point in the future. An annuity means that there are multiple payments, but a key for it to be an annuity is that they have to be the same amount and over equal time periods. So you can think of this as um, car payments or mortgage payments, some sort of installment loan payment. And then there are uneven cash flows. So these are multiple payments, but they're not annuities because the payment amount could differ and the frequency could differ. 